Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a book haul, more specifically an Amazon book haul for my Prime Day buys. I do want to preface saying like for me, Prime Day deals were not the best. Like these were not really discounted at all. This is essentially just a random haul from Amazon with the intentions of hopefully getting a good deal. I did buy a lot of books and I'm so excited so I thought I would show you guys. I ended up buying like 13 or 14 books. I'm not really sure. Two of them won't be here until later so I'll just say those at the end. That way you guys know all the books I bought. But yeah, we're gonna get into this video. Have a lot of packages, at least for me, this is a lot. First off, we're gonna start this haul with the book I actually pre-ordered that just happened to be released July 12th, which was Prime Day, and that was Barbarian Lover. This is the third book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series, obviously. I actually did a reading vlog, I've already read this. The first two books also have a reading vlog, so if you guys wanna watch those, you can. Be on the lookout for a reading vlog um, pertaining this very fun book. Okay, it looks like I have two books in here. So the first book I have is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune, or Fortune, not really sure how you say your last name. This book has gotten some popularity this summer. I feel like everybody's already read this book, but I decided to pick it up. This is what I've heard, like a combination of um, Love in Other Words and Beach Read, I'm pretty sure that's what people say. So I'm super excited about this one. Definitely going to try to read this before the summer's over. The back of this one says, Six summers to fall in love, one moment to fall apart, a weekend to get it right. They say you can never go home again, and for Persephone Frazier, ever since she made the biggest mistake of her life a decade ago, that has felt too true. Instead of spending glittery summers on the lakeshore of her childhood, she stays home in a stylish apartment in the city, keeping everyone a safe distance from her heart. Until she receives the call that sends her racing back to Barry's Bay and into the orbit of Sam Florek, the man she never thought she'd have to live without. For six summers, through hazy afternoons on the water and warm summer nights working in his family's restaurant, Percy and Sam have been inseparable. Eventually, that friendship turns, turned into something more before it fell particularly apart. When Percy returns to the lake for Sam's mother's funeral, their connection is as undeniable as it has always been. But until Percy can confront the decisions she made, they'll never know whether their love is bigger than the biggest mistakes of their past. Told over the course of six years and one weekend, every summer after is a gorgeously nostalgia look at love and the people and choices that mark us forever. The next book I have is actually the five minute journal, but in the green version, this is absolutely gorgeous. I have um, like the original version that's just like the regular. Um, five minute journal and I'm about done with it so I went on Amazon and looked at it I found this green version I thought it was so pretty so I have that I'm gonna do this bag next two more books the first one is wild at heart I my goal with like my Amazon purchases this time around was to get books that finished out the series that I don't have all the books for so I actually bought the first book in the simple wild series and there's three other books, so I ended up buying those, spoiler alert. But this is Wild at Heart. I don't know where this takes place in the series, but I have this one. Then I actually got Maybe Someday, Colin Hoover. I only have one series. Like, I've read all my books by her except for one series, and I didn't have the first book. So this will be, like, my September book. At 22 years old, Sydney is enjoying a great life. She's in college, working a steady job, in love with her wonderful boyfriend, Hunter, and rooming with her best friend, Tori. But everything changes when she discovers that Hunter is cheating on her, and she's forced to decide what her next move should be. Soon, Sydney finds herself captivated by her mysterious and attractive neighbor, Rich. She can't take her eyes off of him or stop listening to the passionate ways he plays his guitar every evening out of his balcony. Something about Sydney that Rich can't ignore either. They soon find themselves needing each other in more ways than one. A passionate tale of friendship, betrayal, and romance. Maybe someday we'll immerse readers in Sydney's tumultuous world from the very first page. I go to this bag. Okay, next I have Running Wild. Again, this is part of the Simple Wild series. And then I actually, this is so random, but I actually got clips. So, so the series I was talking about from Colleen Hoover that I have the last two books, but I don't have the first one, is the Slammed Trilogy. So I have the Slam book, and then This Girl, and then Point of Retreat. Again, I don't really know the order, but I did go ahead and pick this up. Colleen Hoover's romantic, emotion-packed, New York Times best-selling debut novel, Unforgettably, captures all the magic and confusion of first love as two young people forge an unlikely bond before discovering their fate has other plans for them. So this is Colleen's debut novel. What? Following the unexpected death of her father, 18-year-old Lakin becomes a rock for both her mother and her younger brother. She appears resilient and tenacious, but inside she's losing hope. Then she meets her new neighbor, Will, a handsome 21-year-old whose, whose mere presence 
leaves her flustered and whose passion for poetry slams thrill her. Not long after heart stopping for a state, nothing which ever recognizes something profound and familiar in, in the other. They are slammed to the core when a shocking discovery brings their new relationship to a sudden halt. Daily interactions become impossibly painful as they struggle to find a balance between the feelings that pull them together and the forces that tear them apart. Only through the poetry they share are they able to speak the truth about speak the truth that is in their hearts and imagine a future where love is cause for celebration and not regret. This sounds good. And then this is the last book, Forever Wild. I'm not reading any of the backs of the single wild because they're a series. And then I got Maybe Not, which is a novella for the Maybe Someday series. Since this is a novella, I don't Obviously, I'm not going to know everything, but it says, When Warren has the opportunity to live with a female roommate, he instantly agrees it could be an exciting change. Or maybe not. That's what it's called. Especially when the roommate is a cold and seemingly calculating Bridget. Tensions run high and tempers flare as the two can hardly stand to be in the same room together. But Warren has a theory about Bridget. Anyone who can hate that with that much passion should also be the... Should also have the capability to love with that much passion if he wants to be the one to test his theory. Will Bridget find it in herself to warm her heart to Warren and finally learn to love? Maybe, maybe not. And the last three books I have that are physical, the first one is called Meant to Be Mine by Hannah Orenstein. This isn't like popular or anything right now. Um, I just have read all of Hannah Orenstein's novels. She was like my first contemporary literature, contemporary romance, I feel like, that I ever read. Oh, this was her new release for this year, so I was like, why not pick it up? So it sounds really cool. Eddie Meyer knows her date. Her grandmother, Gloria, has accurately predicted the day every single member of the family has met their match. Eddie's is June 24th, 2022, when she's 29 years old. That morning, she boards an airplane to her twin sister's surprise engagement, and when a handsome musician sits beside her, she knows it's meant to be. But fate comes with more complications than Eddie expected, and she can't fight the nagging suspicion that her perfect guy doesn't have perfect timing. And after a shocking revelation rocks Eddie's carefully constructed world, she's forced to consider whether love chooses us as symbol as destiny, or if we choose it ourselves. Which one I'm super excited about, it's called A Certain Hunger. I have seen so much about this. I've seen so much about this, so I'm super excited to read it. It's definitely, like, not the vibe of all these other books, but so good. Food writer Dorothy Daniels loves what she does, discerning, meticulous, and very, very smart. Dorothy's clear mastery of the culinary arts makes it likely that she could, on any given night, whip up more inspired dish than any one of the chefs she writes about. Dorothy loves sex as much as she loves food, and while she has struggled to find a long-term per partner that can keep up with her, she makes the best of her single life, frequently traveling from Manhattan to Italy for a taste of, for a taste of both. But there's something within Dorothy's Within Dorothy, that's different from everyone else, and having, su and having suppressed it long enough, she starts to embrace what makes Dorothy uniquely, terrifyingly herself. Recounting her life from a seemingly idyllic farm to table childhood, the heights of her career, to the moment she plunges an ice pick into a man's neck on Fire Island, Dorothy Daniels shows us what happens when a woman finally embraces her superiority. A satire of early foodism, a critique on how gender is defined, and a showcase of Tuoso storytelling, Chelsea G. Summers' A Certain Hunger introduces us to the food world's most charming psychopath and an exciting new voice in fiction. Tell me that does not sound good. We love cannibals. And then the last physical book I have is actually The Roughest Draft. This has also been super popular this summer, I feel like, so I decided to pick it up. I heard it's similar to Beach Read in the sense, like, they're enemies to lovers, kind of, but they um, are writers? Like, I don't know. Sounds very interesting. Years ago, Katrina Freeling and Nathan Van Hoysen were the brightest literary stars on the horizon, their co-written book topping bestseller lists. On the heels of their greatest success, they ended their partnership on bad terms re for reasons neither would divulge, divulge to the public. They haven't spoken since and never plan to, except they have one final book due on contract. Facing a crossroads in their personal and professional lives, they're forced to reunite. The last thing they've ever thought they'd do again is hole up in a tiny Florida town where they wrote their previous book, trying to finish a new manuscript quickly and painlessly. Working through the reasons they've hated each other for the past three years isn't easy, especially not while writing a romantic novel. While passion and prose push them closer together in the Florida heat, Katrina and Nathan will learn their relationship, like writing, sometimes takes a few rough depth 
take a few rough drafts before they get it right. That's kind of cute. Books I actually purchased but aren't here now is actually the third book in the Maybe Someday series and it's called Maybe Now. That won't be here until like mid-August or something. Something with the paperback being like low stock or something random like that. I actually purchased the fourth book in the Blood to Act. Blood, Blood of Ash? From Blood to Ash? Blood to Ash series? I don't know. It's a vampire book series. I haven't read it yet, but I have the first three, and I just wanted to complete all my series, so I decided to get the fourth book. But yeah, that's all the books I purchased this time. So thank you guys so much for watching my haul. Let me know if you guys got any books recently, if you got them from Amazon Prime Deal. Love to know what you guys are reading. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye, guys. Eh. That's it.